What is up guys, Rick is here with a new video and today with a guide for the wilder challenge or wilder section in Ravaged Realm. I already did a lot of experimenting actually, uh, already did 9 attacks on my account and a few on a friend's account and um, yeah, came up with a good strategy. It is actually from Analytica, I did a lot of experimenting. Um, but turns out Analytica once again with the best info. I honestly assumed um, we could use Dianel and Dianel would be good. We have Dianel and Rainier here as support for the Wild Affection. It turns out Dianel is useless. That was literally my first attempt um, was with Dianel. We can see them down below. Uh, let's scroll down here and there you can see Dianel. And if we check out his damage, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit low. Like, I mean, he's not Supreme Plus or Paragon or whatever, but uh, yeah, that is, that is like, unusable level of, of low. So, um, really, Dynamil fell out and in the end, um, well, it, it came pretty much out, uh, towards that, what I thought. I didn't expect Brian to be quite that good. Um, the damage numbers, we can see them here of this team. Of course, Lily May with the main carry. Flora Bell as expected, good, and then um, really Luca and Damien obviously as support right near the same. And here uh, Brian really with big damage, so if you don't have Brian today, it will probably hurt your score quite a lot. Um, and Parisa, once again nice, we can watch the fight, I think that is a good idea. And then we'll check out the formation and then we'll check out also the Analytica info and towards the end, because I was asked that in private messages quite a lot. Um, we will also talk about the charms because many people had questions about that and was, weren't sure which charms to use or what I recommend. Mm. There are actually two teams today that Analytica recommends and I would actually recommend different charms um, depending on which team you really use. Um, especially with Brian, um, his attack speed is a well is a topic that you should be concerned about because he has his energy reg regeneration bound to his attacks and of course you want to have the biggest uptime of his bird he summons like a bird that attacks for him um and so a good attack speed is really rele relevant but if you run damien on the second team you don't really have to think about that so in this situation you really want to go all out on skill power on brian um, well, if you run Hewen on the second team, uh, you probably want two attack uh, attack speed charms uh, on there on top of like one skill power charm to buff the damage of his bird pretty well. And really for the first team, it is pretty standard. Like for the first team, we don't really have to see a whole lot. I actually had to upgrade Luca. Uh, I didn't really have anything going on Luca yet. Had to do that, um, but there is not much going on in terms of tech. Damien you probably already have, Rainier you have, Lily May we already talked about, didn't change that at all. And uh, same for Flora, but I will show all the charms there. Uh, for the first fight uh, we can like see it's it's uh, the main damage is really from Lily May as expected. For the second one it's fairly interesting really. Um, the first thing that you really want to note here, the positioning is quite important on this one. This is something you don't want to mess up um, because what's actually the case is Parisa increases attack speed and normal attack damage for herself and one nearest ally. So even though, I mean, you can't really influence the later positions of your heroes, given that he does this sand twirl. I don't even know what it would call. It's not really quicksand, isn't it? Um, you w at least want to make sure that at the beginning of the fight, you have your attack speed buff from Parisa um, on Brian and then later on, um, I mean, you can still change it. Um, or it can still change like here, now they are no longer closest uh, and she's actually buffing Hewen, which is quite unfortunate. It is a little bit of an RNG thing and uh, if you have more attacks then um, I mean there might be one where you get optimal positioning all the time. So uh, that is something to keep in mind and even I mean if you have like all of the attack speed buffs from, um, from Parisa on Brian and you could probably even go with skill power and neglect those um, those attack speed charms. So that is an option, but we always see like the attack, uh, the 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 energy getting pretty low, pretty swiftly on Brian. So uh, getting b this back up and getting the bird out again is really the key to deal proper damage. Otherwise, you will have a lot of downtime on him and don't uh, won't get to those points. And with Supreme Plus, and I mean, we only have him at plus five, you really want to see at least that uh, damage, uh, probably even a bit more. Um, I even saw some higher damage numbers on Brian. So that is really what you want to do here. 
Um, the formations, we can check them out on the um, picture uh, from Analytica, which is pretty cool. So once again, as yesterday, uh, we have a nice graphic that was made by Metal369 over on the Analytica Discord, discord.gg slash Analytica, you will find it down below. And many people ask me where it is there, because it is a little bit hidden, I don't know. Um, they have a forum channel, which is like a special channel that you can make on Discord where people can create topics. And uh, it's called Journey Hub, and in there you will find a channel called uh, W. Set Sahara, which is the name of the boss, and uh, it has like the Wilder symbol, the W is for Wilder. And in there, uh, there is a nice discussion going on about the best charms and uh, everything, and uh, you can also find this graphic in there, or here in the video, you can take a screenshot, of course, uh, if that is easier for you, but I definitely wholeheartedly recommend joining in on the Analytica Discord, and of course on my Discord as well, if you have some questions, it's a little bit of a more cozy community, but you can ask your questions there and people will answer. So, about the teams though, I tried this team first, um, combined with the bottom one of course, um, is like those are two separate teams, make sense, because if you would use, try to use this and this together, obviously wouldn't work because of even. Um, and the second one here did better for me. That was the one that I've just shown uh, in the screenshot. I think in a way it makes sense, you have the haste buff from Damien. Uh, on Lily May, which is great in terms of damage. And uh, the Hewen really worked well together with Brian and Parisa. So I would definitely recommend the second one. First one works as well, but got the better results on the second team, actually. So this is really what you want to go for. Uh, some people might have some problems with Luca. I guess she's not that popular. Maybe you didn't summon on the Floorbell banner. If you didn't summon on the Lily May banner, however, uh, well, then you are probably lost on this round anyway. <laughs> That's the sad reality. And, I mean, Parisa, Brian, ah, depends. Like, if you are on a, on a low spender account, you might just not have them because they are really... They, they never really were meta, despite being pretty good. They were always, like, at the... Like, close to being meta, I would say. Close to being meta, because they are pretty great heroes. Um... So, going back into the game, the most annoying thing for me really was that uh, some of those heroes right now, or in general for all of the um, fights, um, a lot of those heroes are not perfect in terms of, of charms. I didn't really care about Brian charms yet. So, um, now I had to start and like figure everything out and check out which charms are the best, and really you don't find this info too readily spread outside. So, first of all, starting off with Lily May. Um, I just go with attack skill power that works pretty well on her, just the full skill power set. Um, that is what I usually do. On Hewen, um, I have a little bit of a mix there. I have healing skill power, I really like skill power on her, and there we have HP haste. You can also go full skill power. Uh, skill power in general is the stat you want on Hewen because it really plays well into her um, purification skill, I think it's called Revitalize, yeah, uh, which removes debuffs and everything, so that is pretty nice on her. In terms of the damage dealing heroes, we're of course looking at Parisa uh, as well. I just went full on haste attack speed on her. You just want her to attack fast, get her buffs usually, and uh, just deal frequent damage, and that you worked pretty well on her. Um, then on Brian, Brian was like the discussion. Either you go with full on attack skill power, this is pretty nice. You don't really need ultimate power on him, by the way. Attack skill power is very, very nice. That is a charm. They recommend crit attack speed, with uh, which I guess can work. He has a pretty innate attack buff, uh, which you will get to use most of the time in this fight. So we can check this out as well. And the other charm. Uh, that is used by many people. It's like this attack attack speed charm. The last fight I did was with this setup. Um, I had good results with full on um, with full on attack skill power. So maybe try both varieties. So like full attack skill power or this setup with like two attack speed ones and one skill power. And yeah, maybe you can write down in the comments what you think is better. Um, we also have some attack speed in here. So we have attack speed and a good run. I think I'm pretty positive. Um, that full-on skill power could be better, um, but I'm, I'm nearing the end of my capacities of attacks, so yeah, really, really a bit difficult. Maybe we just do the last attack in this video, we just can equip that, 
maybe we try it in this video i want to give you guys all the information after all and then i don't have to worry about it later on let's be real about it so uh yeah only item plus five by the way higher would be better but really in terms of damage it doesn't make much of a difference it's just for higher stats um from the the weapon itself it's not really that you get any skills um flora bell Flora Bell, I uh, go, also went for something pretty basic, attack, attack, speed, and then we have a little bit of skill power in here. Hey, skill power is pretty good on her. She, um, you just want her to attack fast and then um, buff her minions a little bit, so uh, you are fine if you go with something like this. So that works out for her. Otherwise, go for skill power if you don't have those specific charms that I just shown. Uh, just equip any skill power charm that will also work on her. For Lika, I don't think I, I even did much. Yeah, for Luca, I just went with like, hey, skill power. Um, that is the best for her. Uh, skill power on her, where is it? Um, place, of course, into this attack speed one. And that is what you want. You want this attack speed buff. So buffing this one through skill power is really your only objective here. And some extra damage. Uh, Damien, I have not yet shown, but Damien doesn't really have any interesting charms. Um, we have, of course, uh, if we check him out, the ultimate here, um, but the ultimate power really only scales the HP on his minion. Uh, there isn't really much going on in terms of HP restoration. We don't really care about that. And uh, the only one that we really care about is this skill. You want him at plus 10 for the 50 haste buff. That is important. Otherwise, uh, you get a 40 haste buff at Mythic Plus, which is also okay-ish. Um, but that scales with nothing, so it's not like we can equip ultimate power or anything, and it, it's really great. Also, it doesn't really do damage, so um, that is all pretty much what we care about. Um, then there's, of course, one more hero that I haven't shown yet, and that is Rainier. Uh, Rainier, I just went with a Healing Haste. Um, doesn't really do a ton of damage. Healing Haste uh, is quite interesting if you want to keep a minion alive. I used it with Teline a lot, actually. Uh, here you could also go for, like, just straight up uh, ultimate power or straight up uh, attack, uh, attack crit that is also fine if you really want to get the last piece of damage and uh, let's get this last attack now going because that is really all i wanted to show you guys in terms of team setups here um we are place nine so we are already in a really really good spot a spot where i'm pretty comfortable and uh I don't think I have to worry much. Like the other heroes that we have here, I mean, you could use Iron if you want to have a little bit of a magic death debuff, but the rest is really pretty, pretty useless for this fight, sadly. So let's hope we get good RNG with the Brine, and um, then let's hope we can score some high damage. So this knockdown effect is really annoying, I have to say. This knockdown effect um, that he has is really annoying. Um, but, I mean, you recover fairly swiftly, at least for the Wilder. I, I had to say, I thought we would do more damage with the Wilder team. Like having Lily May in there and in general so many heroes that you use so often. Um, but if we look at the context of boss fights, really there isn't too much going on with Wilders. Like, not often used, really. Um, we're using Wilders for like everything outside of boss fights. Lily May is, is probably the only Wilder that's really meta for that at the moment. So, um, yeah, I, I was a little bit under misconception there. So, Mauler was definitely way, uh, definitely way stronger there. Uh, I'm curious for Lightbearer because we have some interesting heroes there as well. We have uh, Corin, we have Merrily, uh, which are pretty meta. Uh, maybe even Roan. Um, Temesia, which is also true damage. We have a lot of true damage heroes in there. So, uh, could be fairly interesting. It's, uh, by the way, it's insane how much damage this boss starts doing towards the end of the fight. Absolutely mad. Four seconds here. Two seconds. Come on. Big damage. Ah. Okay. 19.8. I mean, like, if we do high damage here, uh, probably not, right? It was always, like, around eight. Probably. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Will be difficult to do proper damage here but you can see the bird it's pretty cool to see that i mean it's not often um that we get to enjoy brian so uh if we have an occasion like this i definitely tend to enjoy it it's really it's really interesting like it's it's a bit sad we we are they always swap positions here um brian and and uh, merrily or in this situation don't even swap that is an rng thing i think it's a really like depends on the position where they are pulled to. 
um, could maybe even be a little bit optimized. 6.4, 6.5 now, no problem of survival, of course. Uh, would be weird if we had it. Um, 6.9, considering uh, she's now standing the entire time next to human. Are in a pretty 8.1, 8.2. Should be no new record, sadly. Should be no new record. Um, but still pretty decent damage. 28.188 with 4.8 actually here. So we did a little bit less damage than with the um, attack speed one. But we have to say, um, he went standing the entire time next to Parisa was quite unfortunate. So maybe with a little bit of another positioning, we could have done something there. But... Uh, that is a question we can also find out now. <laughs> uh, so we did, we'll just do a little bit of a, a skip. I just want to see what happens if we just put her maybe maybe to the side here or something. If that uh, will influence our results. Let's just skip it to the end and see if we can get some higher scores out there. Um, and indeed we got 28.7. No, so now we're at top 7. Um, yeah, look at that. That was way better RNG. That was way better putting her um, this close. So maybe put her a little bit behind. Maybe that is a little bit better and will give you some better results because we see and definitely an increase there in the damage. Could uh, be a little bit of RNG. Maybe we do just a second attempt, a second quick skip to see if that works out. Um, and the other thing that you want to know about or should definitely do, uh, do all of your attempts. Do all of your attempts. You can always get like a little bit of better RNG, get some extra damage out of it. And uh, then maybe just be lucky. So 28.107 probably, again, still higher damage. So I think the positioning of the human there is a little bit better. So yeah, that being said, long video once again. Hopefully you enjoyed this guide. Let me know if you can score well on your server. It is a bit difficult with the district ranking. I see that most definitely. But um, I hope you still get some nice loot. Get some nice daily loot and can buy some stuff from the store. Um, and with that, I would say... Um, Hope you get good boss damage. Wish you the very best. I will see us in the next one.